Now, some of you don't know who I am, and so I thought I'd tell you my name. And it, my name is James, and I'm from boats.co.uk. And our family business is buying and selling boats. In fact, Dad started selling boats in the late 60s. He still works with us and the brothers, his four brothers, I'm the eldest, and we all work together. Um, he is a nightmare. And if we're clever, we'll try and put a video of me talking to Dad a few months ago so you can see how mad he is. He flies an aerobatic aeroplane and he's 80 to give you some idea of how mad he is. Anyway, today the question we're asking is, why would you choose a V sports boat over the F sports boat? So this is the brand new Princess V55, but Princess also make an F55, which means F for flybridge, which means it has a second deck. So I'm just gonna talk about this boat in general and I'll give you an idea of why people choose the different models. So let's go and have a look. So this is the cockpit on the 2022 Princess V55. And this is the first 2022 boat that I've actually handed over. Because now we're in August, you can have a 22 HIN. So this is the latest model. Now before I start, you will see little bits of blue tape. This boat is brand new today. The owners have just got off and they've told me there's a couple little things I've got to sort out. So if you see blue tape, it means I've got to fix it. So that aside, as you can see, it's an absolutely huge cockpit. You've got this big table here, which folds out. I mean, it's, you could probably get 10 people around there. And also, if you look here, you've got the um, access to the port side with this really nice little seat. And this pops out, which I won't bother demonstrating, it pops out so you can have access all around the garage the garage is in there, if you just, and that's the sun pad. Then under here, we have, and one of these, the barbecue. Um, most people don't like using their barbecues because it makes a mess of their new boat and goes on the teak. And then here you have a little fridge, and in here you have another fridge. So lots of space. I am going to show you the engines today. They're D, Volvo D13 1000 horsepowers, and I'll go a bit more technical because some of you have been complaining that I haven't been technical enough. So let's go into the saloon. Now, the first thing you notice is how open it is. Look how open it is, look. And that's because it's got a very clever, very expensive electric window door mechanism, which I will demonstrate to you on the way back out of the lower accommodation. And we've got a TV here, which spins around. And we've got a window here that pops up to make it even bigger. Look how big it is. It's absolutely huge. This is a galley up boat. And you've got the seating, as you can see, over there. Okay. So, as you can see, we've got a huge saloon. Now this is where some of the big differences occur between the V55 and the F55. As you can see, I've got this massive sunroof here on the V55, but on the flybridge version, this is covered with the flybridge and you have a staircase just behind the cameraman there, which goes up to the flybridge. Now, why would someone not want the flybridge? Why, does, why do people want a sunroof and no flybridge? What I've tended to find is that customers who have got young children, and they're therefore younger, tend to prefer the V-style flat floor because they can keep an eye on the kids at all times. They've got this staircase here down to the accommodation, but it's all easy for them to keep an eye on them. When they buy a flybridge, obviously you're up another staircase, are the kids downstairs in the saloon, are they on the flybridge, I don't know where they are. So people prefer, with younger kids, to buy the V-style boats. Now, the other thing that happens is when customers get much older and their knees start to go, they come back again to the V-style because they don't want to keep on walking up loads of stairs. So that leaves 
the, the middle-aged market that tend to, depending on how old their children are, like the Flybridge boats because they haven't got to worry about the kids and they haven't got to worry about their needs. You've got a much better visibility on the Flybridge boat. I think the V boats look better. Um, you could argue that, but I think they're sleeker. Um, I might show you some external images of the boat at this point so you get an idea of how pretty this boat is. But that's some of the reasons why people choose between the Flybridge and the V-style v boat instead. Okay, so this is the helm station. And as you can see, it's very, very slick. We've got the instrument gauges on here. We have the GPS plotter here. Now on this boat, it's all Garmin, so it's touch screen, so you can, well, you can zoom in that with your fingers. You've also got bow and stir, actually it's got bow thruster here, and you've got a hold function as well. So that means you can put the bow thruster over to one side, press that button, and it will just keep it alongside the pontoon, which is very, very handy, especially if you don't want to get um, um, wind the misses up. You've got the control here. God, this seat squeaks, doesn't it? Um, you've got the control here for the electric roof, which I won't demonstrate. You've got the windlass. You've got all the lights. You've got a horn. And you've also got the electric window. As you know, I like these windows because this is a shout window. I know today we've got this big shout hatch here, but I'm just going to demonstrate how this window works. Oi, get the fenders in! And it works very well, as you can see, and it's all electric. Quite slow, so we'll give, oh, it's, no, it stopped. We've got forward and neutral reverse. We've also got a joystick. Can you see the joystick there? Joystick there. Um, so you can just go left and right, forward. It's pretty easy stuff. You can twizzle it as well. That's for people that can't drive a boat. And then you've got the VHF which someone pointed out is quite important. I know I made light of it in the last video. It is very important from a safety aspect, but I must admit, I don't use it lots. Um, some people get very excited about using VHF. I don't. And you've got the all important compass. Details that people love, the black dashboard. Can you see that? So it doesn't reflect the light and it's just clean. You've got your cup holders, you've got your air vents, you've got your phone chargers. Look, you've got two sockets on this one. That's what you get when you spend 1.6 million, you get two sockets. And, because it's the latest model, it's got the little whirly gig, which should stay in the middle when I turn the wheel. And that's why you want a V55. Okay, so we're gonna go downstairs now and I'm gonna show you the three cabins. So let's try and do this backwards so you haven't got to see my back. And then I can show you on the way down the control panel which looks really, really complicated, but it just turns, it just switches basically. It's like the relay box in your house. You have got a lever here, can you see that one? Which does shore power off and generator because obviously you're not plugged into the mains. So you have a lead that comes into the boat, which is the shore, or it's off, or you're using an onboard generator. This boat has a 17.5 kVA Onan, which will run all the air conditioning and all the heating and all the lights and all the music you want. And the rest of these things are just trips. Um, batteries for starting the engines. Um, that's, am I allowed to say poo? That's the poo tank. And you press a button and it shoots the poo out the bottom. Or you can shoot it out the deck. Yes, you can shoot it out the deck, but you have to have a connection on it. Um, and that's enough about that. So let's go down here. And we're going to go to the forward cabin, which is here. Let me get over here. So this is a brand new princess, as I said, and it has got vice spring sprung mattresses, which are very, very comfortable. In fact, some of our uh, customers buy these for their houses after they've had a boat because they say they're so comfortable. We've got a lovely wardrobe here. I'm not gonna open all the wardrobes, but you can see I've got the bedding, I've got the owner's manuals. There's two suitcases full of owner's manuals if you really like reading that type of thing. You've got power sockets, lovely blinds. This boat is fitted with the silver birch, I think it's called, silver birch um, wood, which looks really, really nice. And then, 
if we go around here, I'm going to show you the uh, Jack and Jill toilet, which is in here. Now, this, the latest princesses have these kind of molded in sinks, which are quite nice, but I think I prefer the old sinks with the bit that says something Mayfair, Perrin and Row or something. And we've got a heated towel rail, if you have a little look there. And we've got a lovely shower that even I can get in. And even I shut the door, look, there's loads of room, look. Look, see, tons and tons of room. So actually, remember, remember this is the VIP, so it's not even the master one, it's really, really nice. Okay, so we're now gonna go into cabin two which is a bunk bed cabin. And as you can see, you've got little steps. You've got two bunks, which will fit me, because I did try it earlier. You've got lovely windows with um, portholes, but I want to show you the secret hatch. So you'll have to come in. So in the ceiling here is a secret hatch. And the reason I want to show you the secret hatch is because in here, can you see in there, um, this is underneath the dashboard. Look at the wires on this side here. Look, look at all the wires. How beautifully done is this? This is, remember you don't really see this, but this is how beautifully made a princess is. And this is why it costs 1.6 million pounds because I could show you quite a lot of electric boards and other boats that you wouldn't want to see. But you do want to see that one. Okay. As you know from a previous video, I don't really like carpeted hatches. And Princess used to put a stainless trim around a hatch. But on this one, they've copied Sunseeker and they've just put the carpet cut out. So I think that's very naughty and they should sort that out on the next one because actually having a stainless trim around there would be much better for future use. Anyway, while I'm down here, let's go look at the master cabin which is in here. We've got the blinds down. And as you can see, it's a beautiful space. Big windows here with portholes. You've got a lovely wardrobe. You've got a lovely TV as well. But I think you know what I'm gonna show you next. My favorite bit is the sock sofa. You right there? <laughs> this is the sock sofa. Now, what is a sock sofa? Well, it's an utterly useless sofa that you get in your master cabin, but it's very, very useful for putting on your socks or taking them off, which I will demonstrate. So you get up in the morning and you sit on the sock sofa and you put your socks on like this. And that is the only time you use it for the whole day. But I want to show you Round here, we have got, on this boat, we have a washer dryer. And look, they've put a mealy on, which I have been told is very, very good by the owner's wife. She asked me what the washer dryer was, and I said, I think it's a um, Hoover, and she, her face dropped. And we opened the cupboard, and it was a mealy, and she was more excited about this than anything else. I couldn't believe it. So I'm in her good books. And then here we have the bathroom. Now I don't know why, but someone's turned the heating on. I'm sweating. And we've got a lovely shower, but it's very similar to the other one. So I'm not gonna show it all to you again. Okay, before we go upstairs, I just wanna explain the difference between the Flybridge and the VV down below, which is there's no real difference. Princess have got a proven design downstairs, which you have a three cabin, you have a four cabin, you have a two cabin. They do the cabins beautifully. So down here, the boats are very, very similar. Excuse me. Under the gunnel, below, they're very, very similar. It's the top half that's different. So now I wanna show you some of the gizmos that the boat's got, which we'll start with in the galley. So the first gizmo this boat has got is an electric pantry. So you press this button here. Can you see that? Now how cool is that? When you're
down the yacht club with your friends, you can say, I've got an electric pantry to get my salt and pepper out of. And how much do you think that costs? £1,840 plus VAT, sir. But it's a lot of fun. As you can see, it's very, very tidy. Now, I'm going to show you the next electric gizmo, which I love, which is the electric door. So, you press this button here, turn it on. We press this button here. By the way, it's blue tape because there's a scratch on it. And this turns the boat from an open into a deck. Now, if you remember in some of my other videos, we had a V50 open and a V50 deck. Well, on the V55, you just buy one version because it's an open and a deck. I've just got to press the button for the right amount of time. And then if I pull the handle, I can shut the door. How cool is that? So that whole door disappeared. And that bit comes down as well. Now let me just make sure I've done that right because I don't want to break it. So I press those two again and I press that down. It's taking a bolt out while I'm pressing that. Then it goes down and then a bolt keeps it in place. Now, while that's going down, I'm going to press the TV up. So you haven't got to sit there for ages. Look, I've got loads of buttons going on here. Can you see the TV coming up yet? There it is. Now this TV has got a really good party trick, which I've only seen on this boat. Press that one down, hold that down long enough. It needs to be an octopus to, to uh, run this. Right, that's done that. Now, look at this. How cool is that? So you can watch TV in the saloon, if we do a little pan out of the, sorry, in the cockpit. Or, you can wait a sec. Oh, yeah, okay. Or we can put you can sit and watch TV here. Now, while we're here, we've got this very snazzy table, which is only five thousand six hundred pounds plus VAT. But look what it does you can have it high like this to have an eating table. You can press this button here with that very quiet motor and it goes down to a coffee table and you think, ah, oh, but James, it's gonna hit the sofa. Dun, dun, dun. You press this button here and it goes away from the sofa. And then I can carry on going down and then you have a coffee table. Now that is nifty. Right, let's go to the cockpit. Okay, this boat is also fitted with the optional sun awning I can't remember the price, but I think it's about 20,000, but you'll see why, look at this. Plus that, obviously. Uh, press this button here. So when you're sunbathing here in San Tropez, you can press this button and you can adjust the amount of shade that's over you. Now that is nice. So that's the other gizmo. And then I'm gonna open the garage to show you, cause this boat does have a garage. Let's see, if I just get here. And the garage, you press these buttons here. I'm a button expert. I'm not gonna open it all up, but you can see that takes the uh, tender and the platform goes down too. And on top of it, you've got that lovely sunbed. Now, if you're buying the Flybridge version, you don't get this lovely garage or sunbed. You get just the fixed cockpit seating. However, on the Flybridge, you do get the high-low platform, which is beautiful. I love the high-low platform. I'll just shut this door here. Um, just one more thing I forgot to say is, um, are you able to follow me to the bow? I just want to show the um, uh, Portuguese bow. Shout window. So this is the Portuguese bow. 
And if you just come around here slightly, uh, both the F and the V have a Portuguese bow, but there's one very big difference. The V has a V stitched into the upholstery and the F has an F. But apart from that, the bow is the same. Okay, so this is the engine room. There's a noisy fan going on, so excuse the noise. This boat is fitted with the Volvo Penta D13 1000s, which is the same as the Flybridge. The D is the series of engine. The 13 means 13 litres each, is two. And the 1000 means 1000 horsepower. So this boat's got 2000 horsepower. It's got 2200 litres of fuel tank and the boat will do about 250 nautical miles on a tank. So a tank costs about two and a half grand to fill up. So actually it's quite economical. You might think it would use a lot more than that, but these engines have got really clever injectors which use less fuel. So I think they've got two turbos each as well. So this is the latest technology and actually some of these newer engines use less fuel than lesser powered engines. So that's one good reason to buy a new boat. So the question I asked was, why do people buy V, why do people buy F? V being the sports and F being the flybridge. I explained to you about people with young kids that like to have the V because of the flat floor in the cockpit and the saloon. And people that buy the flybridges have greater saloon space for the winter. They also have a higher perch to view everything from. Some people would say that the handling on the flybridge is not quite as sharp as the uh, V, and I would agree with them. Um, and the other thing I would say is the V will go faster because it's, it's shallower, it hasn't it's got as much windage. Um, the V also does look very, very nice, I must say, it does look very nice. However, we sell them in about equal amounts because everyone's got a different use. And some people just say, oh, I don't want the V. And other people say, I would never consider the flyer bridge. I want the V. So it's horses for courses, but it gives you some idea about some of the reasons that people buy each type. Now, before we go today, I have to say about 70% of the people that watch the videos aren't subscribers. So if you aren't a subscriber and you don't want to miss any more of my silly films that I do, then please press the subscribe button underneath and I promise I will make it worth your while. I will keep on delivering these uh, little videos for you with interesting stats that you didn't know things about. I promise, I'll always tell you stuff you didn't know about. Anyway, I'm just gonna sit here and relax and enjoy this boat now. This boat is handmade in England. You can see the British quality everywhere. Look at this lovely hob. Everything, lovely. Oh, that's, this is made in France. Cut, cut, made in France. 